Hello everyone and welcome back to this new series that we are making that we're calling it now Porto Corleone maybe this is going to be the name that's gonna stick maybe not I am not very sure by now but I am sticking to this name and in here you can see me that we are building a high density residential and commercial area and you don't see a lot of cars in here that's because this is a pedestrian area that we are going to be building and you're gonna see how did this ends now in here you see me picking up the area that we're going to make this build and I'm gonna start by placing a parking lot and we're gonna go with the parking lots mod that I think that for the amount of vehicles that we're gonna have in here this is going to be working better than the big parking lots because I was experimenting a lot of traffic jams with the intersection and the nodes that create the parking lots from the big from the big parking lots and this is the the pedestrian roads that we the we are going to stick we cannot build with pads because pads don't allow building to spawn so we're going to have to use these pedestrian roads and to get some help from the um, traffic manager in order for us to ban all the vehicles we are banning uh, all the, the vehicles and, and trucks only allowing the service because this building needs the garbage to be to be taken they need police they need firefighters and stuff and in here we're going to be plopping all the buildings here you're gonna see me uh, plopping the main feature of this area that are these mixed use buildings that are, are made by smileys this one in, in particular stick to the grid there are some ones that doesn't stick to the grid if you are using them you just have to move it with the move it mode like I did here to make it fit to the corner and this is the main part of this build this, that's why I'm like showing you very detailed how I made this possible since you know that we are trying to ban all the trucks and vehicles from, from the roads we're gonna have to provide these commercials like an, another access for the trucks and garbage and services you know and I'm using this this road over here that I don't want it to mix with the pedestrian road that we are using because this mix use that we have are com composed like for, for from two buildings one in the bottom that is the commercial and the topper that is the residential in here in order to this experiment that can work we have to put use the the building spawn points mod and we have to separate the 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 cargo trucks the garbage trucks and the hearses maybe from the other vehicles and we have to take them to spawn in the back part of the building where we have this other road that we allow uh, trucks and stuff to work in here and you can see me now trying to make like a small roundabout with the help of the network multi tool and the and the node controller and that can maybe give a some sort of way to return for the the trucks because we are using very high, very big trucks in in this build i'm not I don't have to worry be, uh, how they are going to be able to do it because the the game makes those weird turns in in small roads but I want it to be more realistic in here you see me plopping the the residential topper you're gonna have to 
put anarchy on and you're gonna be able to block the the topper and to the topper you don't have to do too much with spawn points it's only for the for the bottom in here now you're gonna see me um, making like a connection between the 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 pedestrian road and the service road let's call it like that but what i do is whenever the the roads connect with each other i use the the traffic manager and i ban all the the trucks and stuff from going through this road because this is the area where i don't want any road in here you can see the example of a building that doesn't stick to the grid the the one thing that i did wrong in here was that i plopped the whole building before putting the building's spawn points to to work with the side street and if it happened to you you only have to move the the topper and then with the building spawn points and bring back the the topper to the area that it was before now i'm checking out the the look of this building because it's very high and yeah i really like how everything worked in this area that's that's going to be the main feature of this build in this episode this mixed use um, buildings and plopping a lot of building try to make a uh, good use to the roads and stuff i'm going to be very creative i'm gonna allow more angles and stuff going on in here so we can maybe match the shape of the buildings like you see here i am trying to to make these two buildings to stick to to the road without overlapping and, and stuff and yeah i really like how it worked i this is a spoiler alert i made something that works very good at least in the commercial point but in the residential in some parts we had a few problems that we're gonna be talking about it a little bit later you can see me that i am decorating and doing more stuff because i'm i think that this area is gonna have too much attention that I decided to do is to give these guys a separate um, district that's gonna allow me to check out the population and stuff and all their needs in here you see me dealing with one of the problems that we had with this type of build because when we you are plopping the buildings they span on their level if the building is a level five they they will spawn in the level five you, you're gonna have to deal with their needs and that's something very confusing about the game because there are a lot of complaint about land value when we are talking about the residential buildings and lack of of workers when we are talking about the res the the commercial and I try to deal with that with forcing them to level down this didn't work I then try to convert them to Rico buildings before I plop them to the to the grid and this didn't work either and yeah that's something that I am dealing with even at this moment I I'm looking for some videos of people that does this thing and I found out that most of them don't really care about that they hide their their complaints and stuff and they only 
uh, get worried about the aesthetics of the city. I am not that type of builder. I take care of the aesthetics, but I like the city to function like if it's supposed to work like that. That's why you see me. I work, I build the city taking care about the about the, the, the budget. In, that's one thing that you have to be very careful when you are developing buildings because a, a lot of creators put this building very expensive and this can drain your pockets very fast like it did to me in when I was starting the build these first five buildings were each uh, everyone uh, costed like 50,000 sim money and it drained all my pockets very quickly and that's something that you had to be very careful but when you are plopping the growables they don't cost anything they just uh, grow like if they were growable and in here you see me making like this um, food truck park or restaurant area where people can come this is going to be just symbolic yeah I just wanted to fill this area up with something that, that maybe in the near future we're gonna do something different in here but by now this is what we got and I think that for the moment works very good Now since I am very uh, meticulous with the needs of the buildings, I rush to build a university because we can, we have it unlocked and most of these buildings are demanding for high, highly educated people. So I rush to build the, the university exactly like what I did in Cabaibe with the only difference that I didn't uh, plop the faculties. I plop the, the medical laboratory, the library, but not the faculties because we have enough space for all the students that we have in the city. And since we don't have a money maker park like we had in there, we didn't want to spend all our money in building a, a lot of faculties that are going to be empty by the moment so that's what we had in here and it, it's it's very functional and that's that's going to be all about this city it's going to be all more functional than having a lot of stuff that drain our pocket because as i told you i'm very meticulous with the use of the money because i play with the money so by now everything is working so fine i see a few cars that get into the pedestrian area but not not something that i have to worry about you can see that we are building like a tram because I had so many people coming from the low density area of the city to this new part maybe because this provides with a lot of jobs and people wanted to come to work to this area and I decided to provide them with some mass transit option that they can come through here and go there 
maybe use it inside the city as an alternative to the bus system that we have and we did something very very please this was very hard because i didn't want it to mess with all the stuff that we had going even even though that it's not the most efficient way to drive but i am very happy with having these uh, gravel roads with the gravel having this gravel road with the gravel path and i really wanted to mess anything i even have had to build inside the park that I wasn't happy about that, but it ended turning to be like the right way to do the stuff. And I had to change a lot of uh, roads. And I really found out that I had like a very messy grid and it was a very hard way to have a loop inside the low density area that is functional because we need to provide the people with transport option to get to the commercial zone and this was very hard to do but at the end i was able to figure it out and i really like what we were able to achieve in here and people is already using a lot of the tram to go to the university and to the commercial so i think that this was a successful part of the build And we are here in the final part. We're trying to get used to do some cinematics and good stuff when, where we can show you the build that we are doing. Even though that you can maybe see a lot of trucks and stuff queuing up to get to the, to the city inside this area, we don't have many traffic and all the buildings are occupied by mostly the the total amount of household that they can afford and there are as you can see a lot of people walking and going from one side to the other in their bikes and walking through all the city and i'm really pleased with that this ended up being a very beautiful this ended up being a very beautiful build and i'm very satisfied with what we were able to do i'm gonna make it a, a little bit bigger in the next few episodes i'm gonna detail it a little bit more maybe gonna add it at a part where the trunk can go into the city and i don't know i'm i'm just thinking loud but thank you for watching please don't forget to give us a like subscribe to the channel and give us a little comment if you like the build i hope that this build that i am doing in here help you to have some idea for your own city and see you in the next one thank you for all for being here